As we brace for this winter weather, energy companies are also bracing as well. Crews are already working around the clock, preparing for the possibility of power outages. THP 11's Julissa Garza spoke with two utility companies. Joins us now with a closer look at how they are getting ready. Julissa. Yeah, really, that's right. Entergy and Arkansas Electric Cooperative spend today making sure their crews and equipment are ready for whatever the weather might cause. And they're watching power lines and trees very closely. We have been actually in storm restoration and storm prep mode for several days now. Entergy crews have been hard at work preparing for another round of winter weather in the natural state. We restock. We move people and resources around to where we expect that we will need them. Brandy Hinkle with Entergy says their biggest priority is making sure linemen are ready to get on the road to respond to any outages. Things like chains for the trucks, snow cleats. We have some off-road vehicles that if we need to get into those off-road areas, that rough terrain. Arkansas Electric Cooperative on the same page, working to make sure every crew is available and ready to go. We don't know what Mother Nature is going to do. Uh, last week, the snowstorm that went through North Arkansas was supposed to be a simple snowstorm and it ended up causing many power outages. Rob Rodell says it depends on how much ice on trees or power lines to determine if power will be lost. In some instances, the weight on the power lines can get so heavy that it actually snaps the poles and, and drops the line. Cypress and pine trees are especially susceptible to ice issues because they still have their leaves this time of year. There really isn't much you can do ahead of the storm to avoid ice on your trees, but you can park your car away from them. If, if icing is occurring, understand that tree branches can break and fall, so just be mindful of that too. Our linemen have to make double sure when they're out restoring power to watch out for those heavy branches. Both companies say if your power does go out, be sure to report it, be patient, and again, avoid going near trees with large branches and never approach down power lines. A lot to keep in mind, but I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you. Rolly, Faith. Jalissa, thank you very much. Okay, that's the power situation. Let's get back to the roads. The Department of Transportation has crews on standby and salt trucks already out prepping the roads. RDOT spokesman Dave Parker says ice is tough to troubleshoot, but they're focused on keeping high traffic areas as clear as possible, starting with salt brine, then using a specific formula. But this is going to be difficult. The roads are going to be rough uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we, we hope by Wednesday things start to clear a little bit. RDOT also tells us they're concerned about trees under the weight of that ice. Chainsaw crews are on standby to keep roadways clear of any down branches.